Welcome back to the channel, both. Welcome back, Bo Biddle. Ben Barber. What's up, dude? Dude, I'm just enjoying this beautiful day. It is a beautiful day. This is very unseasonal weather. As you can see, it is fall in the Middle Tennessee area. It's beautiful out here down in our secret shooting location. And today, folks, I know, Bo, look, it is a minivan, but here's yes. the deal. This is the baddest minivan on the planet. It's pretty much my earliest. <laughs> we're going to talk, we're going to go extensively into why this is the baddest one on the planet. First off, and we will do this a little different than normal, folks, but look at the size of that grill. That's like one of the most aggressive grills on the market, and it's on a minivan. It is. It's on a minivan, Bo. That's and uh, you can't tell what we learned. Yeah, the blue. The blue, the blue. means it's a hybrid, so Correct. it does have the extra juice. And uh, so this thing is specked out pretty well, right? And you said, right. surprisingly, on the way here, there's a couple cool little back roads that we take. Surprisingly, there was some handling ability. This thing Correct. handled. Well, let's back up real quick. First of all, the reason this is such a cool van, this is a new trim line that's going to be available for all Toyota models. Oh. This is the XSE XSE trim okay. line. So top of the line trim, I guess well, the extra box, right? It's not top of the line, but this is like uh, what we've gathered so far is like a sport level kind of trim. Right. That's going to make it comes way. with the that's part of the blacked out front grill. Correct. And the uh, wheels. And I don't know if you can see Ben. If yeah, the let's camera, get up a little closer so y'all can tell. There's some cool. It kind of has cool the designery going on in these wheels. Carbon fiber kind of looking. It's hard to tell from a distance. I bet you when it's rolling, it kind of presents a cool, a cool look. Uh, yeah, you got to catch this back end. Get around maybe. to the back end again. The trim that Bo was kind of talking about. Look at uh, these lights. You've got this extra black rear balance. Uh, and I think a part of it is that that's usually body colored where it's uh, black there. Um, but wow, so this is a Toyota Sienna. This is what's well, a 2021 model, right? Correct. And it definitely before we go too far, it's from our friends of Toyota at Cool Springs. Their info was on the screen when we started, but we like to give them a quick shout out. So let's go through it, Bo. All right. Pop that rear hatch, my friend. Okay, well, let's, let's check out the key too. We've got a good, nice key fob here so you can open all the doors. With so like egg. let's okay so all the doors so this rear hatch should open and then the two sliding doors will open we'll get to those here momentarily so third row seating it looks like that uh we haven't tried to fold up well, at all let's, but let's try it. gonna do it for the first time and they look like check it out they look like they make it pretty easy here step one step two pull here wow and okay well i guess you know if you want to sit and kind of lean out the back lean out the back huh okay so i guess it keeps moving forward what's step three how does that actually i guess you you keep going it roll forward there you go or uh, oh well, here we go wow we got to go all the way up with it okay. first and then there it is maybe <laughs> Uh, what luck, folks. We, we, we're not pros at doing <laughs> seats. We're not saying we're pros at doing seats. I think what has to happen is those seats are on rails, right? Those seats probably need to fly up so that maybe it can attach to those. See those? Yep, it does. It definitely has to. Those seats have to move up before okay. that'll work. Yep, I think you're right. But that's actually kind of a new function that we haven't seen. So why don't you try to go up and let's see the automatic door opening here. All right, well, you got the button here, Ben. On the side. Looks like you just what press it twice or something. Yeah, now there's also the foot wavy foot wavy thing function, that but I don't for some still, reason my foot. We still don't just, know how to work that stuff, so Yeah. I think press twice is what it says or something. There we go. Press and hold, Ben. Pro, oh okay, totally. press and hold. So it does slide right all the way back. And then Bo's gonna do give us a Okay, let's <laughs> a quick demonstration on how to slide that thing up. That's not it. All right, so that <laughs> gets it going that way, and then um, let's... there's got to be some kind of something that says slide me forward. But look, folks, it may be us. I'm sure that oh oh, see, there you go. So it does slide forward all the okay. way up there too. Oh, if here you we want go. to. Strappy thing here. So it looks like that thing. You could probably just get that whole seat out if you really wanted to, just by which yeah. is not that we want to do that, but I've never seen a minivan with the rails in it. That's pretty cool. Well, uh, one of the things that this car doesn't have, but I know is an option, they have a 
the vacuum cleaner that goes in this little area right here which is pretty cool and just to kind of not belabor the points but yes cup holders for back seat guys uh there are uh vents as well i'll show you guys up there and up there that rear climate so, control up climate there. control there in the center uh man it smells really good in here it smells really good in here once you slide that seat back i'm gonna pop into this back rear seat here and uh close the rear hatch closing if you can pretty sure i should be able to press that one button and this i'm still fighting the good fight against that seat yeah i, I don't even know don't, don't even know but as you can see back. it was there is a hilarious amount of room here in you see all that area there that's weird never i guess they're just trying to make sure these things are highly functional this oh, seat back mount. here, this is really comfortable. There, Bo figured something out. I I'm found not... the latch. Okay. But anyway. So, all right, well, so let's talk interior space and or just quick little cup holder-y things. Uh, plenty of cup holders back here. These formats feel real good. There's uh, another cup holder there in the door, and there's one over here on the right side as well. Um, and you've got a ton of space back there, Ben. A bunch. Like, I'm sitting at the edge of my seat to, like, be able to lean up here, which is just kind of crazy. Uh, I'm going to try to eliminate some of this sun flare and join you in the front seat. Uh, wow, those seats are nice. Front and rear seats are really nice. Kind of a cool... I like the, uh, if they can see the orange stitching. The stitching is cool. Then this is a, this is a fabric I haven't seen before. It look it feels good i like it nice and grippy the dash as you see it's got what is that red yeah red stitching or orange i guess yeah it's all orange stitching and mm. i don't know if you saw this but you have the usb and type c charging, charging ports there and then what's what's uh so these are armrests and then i guess what does that open up there too ben huge amount of space in here oh so you got more charging ports more usb more type c and you can see i'm I'm He's elbows deep. deep. Elbows deep in there, folks. So plenty, plenty of space to store your stuff. And what's that right there? You got cup holders here. More cup holders, folks. There's two cup holders right there. So you, yeah. And four if, cup holders. Yes. Yeah. And Bo doesn't have his cell phone on him, but I will just take mine and show you. There is a spot right there for you to put your cell phone right in the dash. Kind of has that nice little spot to hold it. And a ton more like shelf shelf space. And now let's get underneath. It's crazy, folks. Look at all this space underneath here. It's kind of like a pass-through. I can pass through and I bet. Mess, mess with Bo Biddle's legs over there. There's a, another charging station there. Now, let's, let's, uh, let's bring this girl alive. This is a hybrid, right? So it makes yep. the weird noises. What little noises it makes. Yeah, it's on? I didn't hear a Vehicle car start. Vehicle is on. That's really weird. Okay. All right. Uh, nice heads up dash or display there all the functionality of your I haven't messed with the of your AC and stuff is right here in button form and then um, you know let's let's do our little backup camera thing because that usually gives us a good demo on this just don't actually back up or you'll run me over okay so it does have the I did do some backing up earlier these lines do turn as you turn the wheel but i move. guess because i'm not actually turning it's not right yeah definitely works hit that map button there see uh because there is what's pretty cool about this i like is they have the hard button sitting on the outside and then the, the screen is actually a touch screen that you can zoom as you can see zoom in and out on which is cool um pretty standard dash here right like yeah. nothing nothing too crazy it does have some of the safety equipment that I guess we kind of all expect on these higher end cars. Yeah, you've got your lane keeping assist. Looks like your cruise control uh, adjustment here as well. Um, there's a few buttons over here. You've got your power doors, fuel gauge, or fuel cap. A bunch of extra stuff. Yeah, this steering wheel looks nice, man. Like, a, I love the orange stitching. How's it feel? Does it feel good? And it's a pretty sporty little steering wheel. I, I'm not mad at it. And uh, so, it, it does appear that there's probably a few options that have not been checked that could be added, some additional features and functions. Um, not but, that this thing needs it. There's so much no, this room. Thing is, 
and look, and look, folks, look, you know, hop out the car with me, though. We and one thing, real quick, before we move on from that, is one thing I noticed that doesn't happen often is when we get these vehicles, they generally don't have much fuel in them. This one happens to be full, wow. and and this is brand new too. It's like brand it's new, and it's showing me that my range is about 560 miles till Gracious. empty. So Florida. <laughs> well, <laughs> we'll yep. see you in Florida. I guess. Yeah. Crazy. So. We know that, you know, you guys don't look to Nashville Cars and Coffee for all your minivan news, but we, uh, we try to do our best to uh, make sure you guys know and see all the different cars that are available in, in the market. There's a lot of people looking for minivans now. It's not for everybody. It's definitely not for everybody, but this thing is so nice. We had to, we had to check it out. We well, don't also be in that new XSC XSE trim. We kind of wanted to see what that was all about too. And right. Well, and there it is. That that grill kind of is the biggest representation of what the difference is. Uh, God, it just looks it just looks mean. And you know, watching you in my rear view as we were driving, those LED lights look real. The daytime LEDs look cool. I mean, look, it's a minivan. It's not going to be at the top of everybody's list. But if you are interested and need a minivan that actually does handle very cool and feels a little sporty and has plenty of room, this is it. And our friends at Toyota Cool Springs definitely have this and a couple other ones available. Again, this is a 2021, so it just got there. So I guess all their info has been on the screen. Y'all be sure to check them out. For my man, Bo Biddle, my name is Ben Barber. Before we go, I guess, the event's tomorrow. We hope to see you guys out there. There is a mask ordinance in Williamson County. So yep. me and my man, Bo Biddle, we'll have masks on. I hope you guys do the same. We will see you tomorrow morning, hopefully. And uh, yeah. If not, we'll see you in the next video. Y'all have a great day.